Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on No Man's Land. And here we are in May, we will be skipping ahead a couple of months, but first of all, we need to take care of some business of creating what would be, I think, our final field in that. Our final field before we start wrapping up the series and that, so, yeah, as mentioned in last episode, we're going to pretty much rip up all this, including removing the trees, so the plan is, get all these trees removed, could come down and sell them for timber and that, very much possible, but, yeah, I'm not particularly interested in that, like, profit-wise, like, getting those on, cutting all that, it's going to take some time, so what I'm going to do is simply start devouring some of these trees. And then, since we've got the capital, we're going to start flattening all this out. And do I, yeah, I think I will start flattening out from like here. So some of this grass area will be removed, but it's for the greater good. And then once we're done, we can pretty much neatly tie up this grass field. Because, yes, yeah, grass. Did we cut in this episode, or was it in the last episode we cut it? I think it was the... No, <laughs> it's actually raining out to mow, so... Yeah, we can start mowing that. Get the three mowers. Do we still have those crimmers leased out? No, we do not, so... In fairness, I am tempted just to leave them, and... Let that grow another month in that, so we get a bit more out of it, so that's a good leave to that. So yeah, I started doing a bit of a little test plot here just with the plow. And yeah, plan's gonna be first of all, I think we'll start just doing the helps if you actually name the fields. What be partially the head and so we'll have a little division between here and the sugar heat field, so we go in a perfectly straight line. Ammo barren is 200, 278.2 degrees, so that's going to be the natural just bearing on that. So, yeah, attempt to go closer to the field, but I think that field ain't perfectly straight in on itself. Because, yeah, I think if we bring the man to have a look at that in a sec, yeah, this is going to be. Field, so, where should we say to there? And thankfully, we've got this huge plow which makes a all the difference for us. Just imagine us doing this. Right, so, that way. Fine. Area 3, 5.7. Cause yeah, this is going to be the cornfields now. We want to use corn because we want the corn oil in. Actually, I will look at that great demand. So, is there anything that we got and are willing to sell? That's going to be the question. And no, it's just the cotton. So, if we had excess cotton, we may sell it. But, even so, at three grand for a thousand litres, it's still worth making it into fabric and then into clothes. Ah. Some trees in the way, so actually, I think we'll start off with doing the devouring. So, go to you. See, so, yeah, I think this tree holds like a million leaves, so holds a million leaves. Good chip. So, obviously, these small trees are going to be very significant. One thing we need to remember is. Stubs. So we should be now, make sure some are removed, if we have any issues with it, so we can deal with it straight away, because we find you don't have issues with Once we start terraforming the land, we get to the limits of yeah, having sort of bits raised up in that, so we get yeah, a start off with a little time here, so we we'll try to get all this done. I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
I'll say so now. We start flattening this out so. Do it for landscaping. Uh, where do we say? About here, give or take. And yeah, I think now all we we'll have to do is start cutting in. Back, yeah, it is. so 
you know what, let's go do that quickly, but apart from this little bit here, I forgot. Everything seems to be fine, so there we go. Just flatten all of it out there, pretty much I can do what we've done. And be careful not go into the shrinking field. But yeah, so what was it, like 9.9 9 million, 9.2 million we had to start off with? Yeah, that's gone now, so... But yeah, overall, I am happy with all this, so... It means I'll just need to turn this they roughly where we were, so it's just a bit of a case of rehashing and redoing everything. But yeah, we'll make sure we have the dividers and that between the grass field and the corn field as well. The last thing we want is to mix our corn with our grass, or even our corn with our sugar cane. This bit here, oh, I'm not too sure what to deal with, so you know what? I'm just leave that little hook there. But yeah, as I said, like, this is going to be our last field and that, I think, personally, because we're going to start wrapping up this series very soon. I think we'll do a couple, like, two years off to break stuff. And then I think that's where pretty much I'll call it because at, at this point now we're just doing the painting this off, same things over and over again. That's the last thing I want is just do things that's repetitive, whether it's with productions or with field work in general. I like to mix up with crops and that, especially as well. Haven't done corn for a while, so that's why I did corn here. Farm, we're doing the root crops and that. And come when this is going to come out on New Year's Eve tomorrow, all things go to well. We're going to start recording the episode and get it in after this episode. After I've recorded this episode, is my brand new Let's Play series. That's going to pretty much replace this in a boring sense. It's going to be another survival challenge series, but don't worry, I've learned from this, so with this new series I'm doing, it's going to be vintage survival, pretty much. Vintage survival is going to be, at the very least, what we're starting off with, so I should make sure this is great. I'll come to the grass field a little bit here, but I'm going to have a live with. But yeah, new series is going to be Vintage Survival. I am absolutely looking forward to doing it. It's something different, something new. Yes, I've done survival. I've done survival challenges starting from zero, basically with a pickup in that. And a trailer. I know with this series, we did start off with some of the equipment, which at the time we started off on that, and just was gradually progressed. Would it be an issue? But then I got carried away with just over-expanding very quickly, and that's one of the things for me I regret with this series is expanding too quickly. Not so much to bring that up there. It adds character to the field. Yeah, character, let's go with that. Surely there's nothing else, it's just character building. Yeah, that is the perimeter head and done. Those ones around the, the grass field as well. Yeah, this bit here will shave off in that speed with them. But yeah, with this new series, it's going to be on the long cut. The new Polish map as part of the print expansion DLC. But yeah, overall, I'm looking forward to it. It's play on map. I've been here in about 10 hours on my own little personal series, not my own series, my personal game save on it, so I know I'll get myself into. Well, it's me, I know. Well, I'll see what I'll say to myself at least, but yeah, it's different. It's vintage equipment in a way, around about the 80s based, maybe some 70s stuff, but it's probably. I mean, it is more of an 80s space series. That's just because there's not many mods at like 70s space, apart from your pickups and lorries and the, the, the pick 
and also your cars and other vans now.
blood and some cowing and yeah, I'll say overall I wasn't too bad. Yeah, the lumpies, the lumpies were going to be a sort of pain in the ass when it comes to see them, but that will be for our next episode's problem, that's future episode's problem. Present end point, what we're doing at the moment is just go and do the fertilizer. So, once the fertilizer is, we also need to rock pick this as well. That's why I'm doing the fertilizer now. Then we'll do the rock pick, get out of cultivate like state. Put the second application of fertilizer on then. And yeah, next episode we will see it and just use your roll it. The only thing I've done is demolishing, so when it comes to yield bonus, we only get like what? 98% yield bonus. Oh, I do not like this. I'm going to get rid of you because the rear wheels are steering as well, so. In a way, what you do is like cow steering, cow steering, and all that. So. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what here adds tags and where I stored it. I think there's only one or three locations that have been. Area where I've stored it. Here behind it, or over here, because I was in last episode, or episode 4, which has gone around tying everything up. And also, I thought, make sure there was a clear division, put this dirt track in, and the ship itself is not too bad at the moment. It's going to be too bad at the moment, area is not so much, it's more of a problem. We have 600,000 people chips. How much would we get for these wood chips? I've just out of curiosity in that. So wood chips, yeah, I don't know where I'm at May, so price is going down, so we'll get about sixty grand out of it. Do we wait and get more of it in June? No. Uh, it's not gonna be worth it. Especially when we look at that, what, sixty grand? Yeah, I'm out of far from the beach you know. So Stones, right? If we have a look here, and it'll be, yep, yeah, small stones in general. Not everywhere though, that does confuse me. Get yeah, that used to be the forest area over here, but. What? I'm not complaining. Yeah, we sold it in one week here. We're just supposed to put something over here. Take us a minute, a few minutes. If I even get this wrong, it. It's even spraying it, it takes too long. But yeah, next time, what we'll be doing is to seed it. I'm just gonna split it up, keep this episode a little bit shorter. Not so much to drag out the series, just more of. Again, that's one thing to want to do, try to do in the new year and that is. These episodes a little bit shorter, around 30 minute mark, 30, 40 minute tops. I'm gonna do like 20 minute episodes. It's, personally, that's not my thing. Anyway, I just want to sort of leave you for more now when I watch what other people do, like 20 minute Let's Play series, 10 minute Let's Play series. Yeah, I get the engagement and the attention span of that. Stuff, but yeah, it's just always me personally, it just seems to lack now. So, that's me personally. Uh, I'm sure other people would disagree or agree on that. But yeah, feel free to let me know what do you prefer. Do you like the long episodes, do you like the short episodes? Because at the end of the day, I'll hate constructive feedback, hate the feedback on the system because I'm still learning. Yes, I've been doing this for a couple of years, but. Only until recently, like just before my little span period, where 
Let's try to take it a bit more serious now. That's what we're going to get into is make it more. Yeah, just put more effort into it rather than just casually go by. So, forward to the videos, forward to the episodes and all that. Just make it more entertaining, more engaging than that. But, yeah, that's me personally. I think like people like the CP are going to all enjoy the videos. Like, I know that like, there's a joke in that, oh, this is going to be a short episode, and next you know, we already know it's going to be like a 50, 55 minute episode, but me personally, that's what I love about Mr. CP is like, the way he does this series now. Yeah, me personally, I wish he did a bit more cool farm, but, and again, I know why he doesn't really do much cool farm episodes nowadays, it's because of. At the end of the day, it's the viewership, which, yeah, it makes sense. Court Farm is one of those maps where it has been overly done on YouTube, but then, then again, you'll have your loyalty base of the people who regularly watch your content now, like me, I've noticed, like with all three series, Bice Brain, Court Farm, and New Man's Land, like, that's absolute above average, slightly. Yeah, viewership is a bit dismal compared to other people, I do that. But yeah, as for me, as a creator, I'll personally grow in that. That's why I think it don't have much growth because I, at the end of the day, I'm only doing Let's Plays. When I did my tutorials at Cyber Go Festival 2, it was the quality was uh, subpar, especially my, yeah, my most viewed video on the channel, the rock picking guy, like, Instantly, the audio quality is like, oh, I was like, watching it back and that. Yeah, if I can redo it, I will redo it so much better than that. Not so much in terms of the knowledge and that, just with the production quality of it. Also, back then, I was just rushing, getting videos out, trying to beat everyone else. And for me personally, that reflected in the videos, but. Hey yo, you know, in that. So, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to leave it today, so yeah, next time we'll just do the rock picking and then seeding and then we'll go and sell the wood chips. Then after that, I'll start looking at the vineyard again at the moment, they're just growing at the moment. That's why we will be skipping ahead a few months now, like just speed things up a little bit. I just have that bit of progression in that. And yeah, we've got to we see that little grass area we've demolished and in general get the rest of the grass area mode. I'm thinking baking it. Get the quick bell now, get the moan out. Get the quick bell on. Now let's go big my boom. Or do we get the forge wagon? Look it back up to the Oh, we'll see. Mower. Yeah, I know the mower wise, obviously, we be able to move out 24 miles now with anything attached to it, but still. Uh, maybe not. I want to look at some. Because, yeah, we've got the mower with the hitch, that's why that symbol's there. So, any beaters we've got, or can get, that can bail at stupid speed. So, things like the quick bell. Disciple bells, we're looking at 10 miles an hour. Ah, unless we do the quick, quick bells, that's the only reason, or the only way I think personally we can do that. Otherwise, it's yeah, 14, 50 miles an hour. Forge wagons, look at 10 miles an hour there. Or do we start looking at, yeah. Not over the edge there. But yeah, so yeah again looking at the what was it, Forge Wagons? The TARDIS stuff. All of it is 30 miles an hour, like that is really what's limiting us. Ah that may be a better option for us. The Forge pickup Fast 2. What's Fast 1? 
Ah, it's 15 miles an hour, so... Actually, I think if we do the mower... The mowing and this... Core tracks, of course. Don't need a rear hitch, don't need a cover. The cover is optional. And yeah, just cover spec. What is it? We got white, so... Let's go with, I think... A jet black frame. The body itself, that could be a nice white. That's. Ugh, nope. Kinsey, what's that? But yeah, something like that. Kinsey white. Spike, so. Yeah, that could be white as well. Yeah, something to match the mower and that. Tracks gotta be white. And yeah, you know what? Five grand I ain't too bad. Well actually give me a sec here. I want to get hooked up and just give it a quick test. A little spoiler for the next episode maybe. And there we go. So yeah, we're everything hooked up and ready. And yeah, I think this is one of two possible options I think we can go with. Just double tap the L1 and A button to quickly fold it and unfold it. But yeah, only other option I'm thinking is if we say go with the Colossus Forge Harvester, go with 3000 horsepower. Yeah, either 3000 or even 1800 would scale it back a little bit. Because yes, if we go with this, 125 miles an hour, you're thinking. What could go with it? If we go to our forge headers, ignore all of this, but if we go to the tool height control mods, I think something like this, like the chrome X disc, it's 6.2 meters compared to, what's this, 10 meters? Yeah, 10 meters, or even with any kind of mouse up you can think of normally, which I think at most you're looking at 12 meters. 12.3 there. 10.1, 9.4, 10.2. Yeah, even compared to 12 meters. That is still potentially six times speed for a half to whip. So in theory, I'll do that way compared to your normal motor up, you do that three times as fast. So Thank you. 